refrigerator off, solar panels off, shore cord unplugged. Welcome back to Road Setting. Ben and Lauren here, and we are going to see how much power the Trilago Mini Split System takes total. It is 96 degrees here today in Medora, North Dakota, and we are unplugged from the shore power. That means our converter is not on. I shut the solar off. That means we're not having any power come in from our solar, and I did shut the power off to our refrigerator so that won't have a draw. We will have some phantom draws from our other appliances. I can't shut everything down. I'm not going to. They're, they're minimal. So what I'm going to do is turn the unit on. We're going to watch the meter on the kilovolt lithium battery app and we're going to watch the meter on our midnight solar kit. We just shut everything off and it's already heating up so let's get into it. On our midnight solar kit, we can see we have a draw of one amp. That's our phantom loads. That's quite a bit, but that's what we got going on currently. And we're going to turn on the Trilago mini split system and we're going to see how much power this takes. Now, keep in mind the kilovolt app is only reading one battery. So times three roughly on the kilovolt app. Turned on. On the kilovolt app, we're showing 30 amps roughly out of the batteries. So you times that by three, roughly. That meter in those lithium batteries isn't the most exact thing. Oh, now we're down to 25. We can see the meter on the midnight solar kid. It's at 70, 69 to 70 amps out of our batteries, minus an amp, so 68. 0.8 roughly because we do have that one amp of phantom load 23 to 24 amps off that kilovolt lithium battery and we're already down to 99 percent we started this test at a hundred percent right now on the lithium battery app you can see up in the right hand corner time remaining 10 hours and 9 minutes. Now that's at our current power draw of roughly 20 amps for that battery times 3. You know we're pulling 20 plus 20 plus 20 roughly, which we can see on the Midnight Solar Kid screen, 60 amps, 61 amps in there. But more importantly, getting back to the app, 9 hours and 27 minutes remaining in those batteries. If we were to run this draw, power draw or power demand or load, whatever you want to call it, continuously. We can run this off of our battery pack for roughly nine hours. Now we have seen this number vary. I've seen it up to 13 hours, 12 hours. One time I saw a little bit more. Um, it really seems to depend on the ambient temperature outside how much this air conditioner draws. But I can say this is fairly typical, 60 amps to about 50 amps for us. Now this is the hottest temperature we've had this mini split in so far. The back of our trailer is in direct sunlight. We have no shade where this air conditioner is mounted. 